So we start from uh, the point that renewable energy is intermittent. At certain times, renewable energy production goes down. Here okay, yeah, we're seeing this here. We have the nuclear uh, plant and uh, the solar plant, and we see some clouds blocking the solar. That is right. And now and we so, see some, some uh, looks like petroleum or gas being burned. Well, this is, a, this is a factory on ah. this side. Oh, factory. Uh, and demand. so Got what it. we have done here is uh, we have reduced the power demand of that factory. Ah. Exactly according to what we were saying earlier. So there is a shortage of power on the grid. What we do is fully automatically curtail the power demand of certain machines mm. that are able to do that without impact on the end user. Okay. So you have software that you have to install at the factory. That software then connects to the utilities. Those utilities have some sort of an API that you can hit, or do you have to actually like hard code this in and, you know? Um, the way it works is we really build these virtual power plants on the cloud. Ah. And so um, you can think of it as an Uber or an Airbnb of energy. Hmm. There are all these pockets of flexible power that we aggregate together and it creates a virtual power plant that can be used just as a gas-fired plant in order to keep the balance on the grid. So that's what it does. It's a cloud platform that connects to industrial machines and to household appliances, and it logs a lot of data so that it understands when it can shift power, mm. and it does that when there are excesses or shortages on the grid. That signal sometimes comes directly from grid operators. So we do have an API directly to the grid operators in such instances. Sometimes that's just a local measurement, for instance, of AC frequency on the electricity grid, which we use. Ah, so you can just say, we can tell by listening to the line that's right. that it is intense right now. Yes. There's a lot going on this line because the line is heating up essentially, or? That is right, yeah. yeah. You listen to the AC frequency, and that happens fully autonomously. So these are agents that are locally installed. Ah. They listen to the grid frequency, and they act together in such a way that they create the effect of a virtual power plant. Now, when you do this, can you actually say, I want my power plant to tap energy source A, B, but not C and D? and then the energy actually comes to you, or is it a virtual energy where you're saying, I'm choosing to t buy the energy from this person? That's something I never understood because they say, hey, you can pick now when you do your electricity who you're buying from. Mm -hmm. Are you literally having the electricity sent from solar and wind to you, or are you just saying, I wanna give the money in this marketplace to the solar and... Yeah. Um, no, there are not physical flows that we're yeah. really controlling. Um, and so it is virtual. It is virtual. And it is an overall signal on the grid that expresses the balance between supply and demand. And there in that signal, we can see locally when there are shortages, mm. and then we start reducing uh, power. Grid operators, they pay for that. They mm. pay for these virtual power plants as a kind of insurance premium. Uh, so uh, in order to balance the grid, before they were paying gas-fired plants to just keep that balance on the grid. Now they do exactly the same, ah. but with virtual power plants. Let me take a moment to thank at Squarespace for, first of all, making amazing software. I was just working on uh, one of the new projects I'm working on. You may have heard of <coughs> television show. Um, and we had to make a website and I, boom, I just went on to Google domains and I was buying a domain over at Google domains and boom, you could just, when you're setting up your Gmail, fire up and launch Squarespace. I guess they're partners now. And I was able to fire up a gorgeous website in literally minutes, and it looked like we spent $25,000 making it. It looks professional, it's intuitive and easy to use, no coding is required, and they use state-of-the-art tech, it's super secure, it's super stable, and it's trusted by millions, some of the most respected brands in the world. We, in fact, use it for all of our events and conferences, and you can start your free trial today. No credit card is required. And you'll get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. I'm an idiot. I did it wrong. I signed up at the wrong domain place. I didn't know that you've, I would get a free domain. I got to go back and uh, do that next time. If you decide to sign up for Squarespace, if you do decide that you're going to sign up for Squarespace, which I'm sure you will, just use the promo code TWIST and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. It is an amazing, amazing product. It's super easy to use. And they keep adding features to it, which is one of the great things about the software as a service movement. They keep getting more people loyal to the product. They keep uh, being able to hire more product managers, developers, and researchers to figure out what to make next. And boom, they make amazing product and they keep the price the same. So things are getting better and better over there at Squarespace. I love the product. Go ahead and follow at Squarespace. Mm -hmm.